Hey you guys, okay so today we're gonna be doing my makeup and be using this new palette that I really like, this Kylie palette. It has really surprised me. We're doing like a really pretty like sexy bronze eye using some different like makeup techniques, but as I like to do when I do makeup tutorials, it's my favorite way to do it. It's totally like just doing your makeup with me. We're chatting, we're talking. It's not so robotic. I'm gonna link to everything I use obviously, but it's fun because you can, you know, doing makeup, whatever. We're talking about all kinds of things and I, sh I truly, and most time I truly never know what I'm gonna talk about. This one I definitely didn't. It stemmed from me, I think, talking about going out with a friend yesterday or just like a sanity tip for like being a mom, you know? And it rolled into this whole big thing about friendships, red flags, like funny stories that I've had, not so funny stories I've had with friendships, things to look out for, things that I think you kind of learn as you get older. You know, certain things that have kind of happened to me over the years with friendships and you know, how, why they're so important, I don't know. So the topic of the day, which I think is kind of hilarious how this kind of became this, is friendship. So we're, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna get deep into that. And it's just gonna be a total, just like stream of consciousness, talking, I don't even know. So yeah, I hope that you guys can get something out of that. I think it's a topic that we all can relate to, right? And um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you guys like these types of videos. We always talk about such random things. And um, it was kind of fun talking about, you know, just one thing, which was kind of unintentional. But I think that it was a lot of, it was a lot of interesting stuff. So yeah, I love doing these. We'll do another one soon. At the end of the video, I, I mentioned talking like how it kind of related to business and saying no to business things and how YouTube and, you know, things that I've dealt with, crazy things that have happened over the years with certain things. And I was like, you know, I need to do a YouTube story. I need to do this, that. And I think what I'm going to do, because I always cringe when I think about doing that. It's like, I want to share. But when I actually sit down to do a video, I'm like, I don't feel good about doing this, you know, because it's just not, I don't know. So maybe I'll do one kind of like this where I'm just doing my makeup and talking. And I think when I am focusing on something else, like when I'm doing my makeup and, you know, I feel like I just talk more freely and it's not so scripted, which nothing ever is. It's not so outlined. I'm not like, okay, and then next we're gonna talk about this. It's just me thinking, just me talking. Like I would be having a conversation with someone, except I'm not, because I'm talking to, because I'm talking to a camera. But, um, so I think it's kind of interesting, and we'll do more of these. I know we've done a lot in the past and talked about a bunch of random things, but I really like just talking about this topic. I thought that was interesting. So, um, we'll keep doing these. I think that's just relaxing and, I feel good. I feel good after after doing these. So um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. You guys grab a snack, grab a drink. I feel like this is going to be very long. So buckle in. So get comfortable. Do your makeup with me, you know, get, get comfortable and do that. But, um, but anyways, you guys, so let's get into it. All right, guys, let's do this. So kind of want to put my hair up. I've just been wearing it up a lot lately because I mean, especially in a video, I feel like it drives me nuts. But um, I take like the tiniest little pieces just like kind of stick it or leave it out whatever so you need some dry shampoo my hair is like way too clean right now and then i just put it in a ponytail so it's gonna slip right out because i can feel how slippery my hair is right now my tiny little ponytail i kind of like it though when i have short hair ponytail is a little better i always kind of do because then you can like leave out pieces like this because normally if i had long hair it'd be like too much and then it just looks like little kid hair, you know what I mean? So yeah, whatever, it's out of my face. So, okay you guys, I'm gonna use some of my favorites that I've been loving lately. And I don't know what it is, but I've been really into primer again. And I just use way too much. The Veil, it's a mineral primer, oil-free SPF 15 by Hourglass, holy goodness. And I put it up under my eyes too. Not like, you know, touching your eyes, but you know, just get it kind of up under there, it really smooths. It really does make a big difference. I had dinner with my friend last night, and she was like, whoa, your skin looks good. And I feel like it's it's looked decent lately. I mean, it's been breaking out just a little bit. Um, but just like how smooth, you know, like she thought it looked good. I feel kind of like it's the primer. Kind of my skin, kind of the primer. No. I have so much stuff to share with you guys. I feel like we've been doing like clothing videos and stuff. I have so many beauty things to share. I'm not getting like super in depth about what I'm using, um, but I'll link everything. But that we just talk and chit chat and catch up. So I hope y'all have been doing okay. I swear you guys, I use all kinds of different foundations and I swear you think like, you know, oh, you know, all of these that are supposed to be like super luminous and you know, fancy or whatever. Not that this isn't fancy, it's the Clinique Acne Solutions. I'm just saying, I swear to you, I feel like this one 
is the prettiest out of anything that I have. And um, I feel like it's good for my skin. I feel like it keeps me from breaking out, that's for sure. It keeps my pores looking nice, my pillars. I don't know y'all, I had such a good time last night. I went out with my friend. We kinda had like an early-ish dinner, a little bit of shopping, it was fun. And I gotta be honest, like people ask me all the time, like, you know, mom videos or mom things or mom tips, and th things like that. And I never wanna give tips and even when I do beauty stuff, like from the perspective of guys, I know everything. Like, let me share all my wisdom with you. I, I literally just like coming on here talking to you guys and sharing like you're my friends because I feel like you are. But I'm extra like funny about mom videos because one, I don't wanna like show my child and say, oh, this is every single thing that she likes and here's everything about her. Cause I think I really try to like, I really try to pull that back and I think it's so easy to be like, oh my kid's so cute, how like everyone loves it when you post a picture of your child or when you have your child in a video, right? So like, oh, let me just make that into content and you see people do, and so I'm always careful about doing that because it's really easy to like slip into that so I've always been like extra aware of that. Um, I really didn't need all this, I was just using everything that was on my hand. I'm gonna look like I'm wearing way too much probably. Maybe I'll start sharing more like mom thoughts or like maybe some things that will keep you a little sane. Which hopefully just like taking some time to watch videos, like YouTube videos does that. You know, so like these videos just talking and catching them. Hopefully I'm like giving you guys a little bit of an escape. I feel like it made me like extra, what am I trying to say, like multitasking and like made me really focus on certain things I needed to focus on and like really get things done that I needed to get done in like a more timely, manner so that I could let you know have the time with my child and like do all that and it just made me work smarter. I stopped doing unnecessary things that I thought were unnecessary like I used to try you know I used to go all over the place go to every little thing every little conference every little this every little that and I, I loved that but I just get to the point where I was like I don't I don't need to do this anymore and I don't want to do this anymore and so I feel kind of like you know you still have to travel you still have to do things if that's what your job calls for but I feel like saying no to the right things all that but my point here, and one of the biggest things that I can share with you, hold on, let me put this on. I swear I'm gonna get this thought out, like just bear with me. The thing that I found to be like really important is not, obviously not losing yourself. And part of that for me was like, okay, even if I could just share with you guys years ago, like quick makeup tips or, you know, take that time in the morning. If you're going to work, get up 10 minutes earlier just to like put on some mascara and make yourself like, you know, just take 10 minutes for yourself. We all can do 10 minutes, all of like, we all can do 10 minutes. So I shared so many beauty things, but I feel like something huge is not losing yourself and not neglecting your friendships. And you know, I really do value my girlfriends and I feel that, you know, my friendships are special and it's more than like, oh, let me just post all this stuff. And like, I respect their privacy, like I respect who they are. I don't ever, and I never wanted years ago when I started YouTube for YouTube to be who I was or every time we go out we have to film we're taking photos we're doing this we're doing that back to like the whole mom thing it's so good to not lose yourself you have time like I said you can have time to get ready you don't need to put on like full glam every day um this is the Trish McAvoy little you know eye base by the way I'll link to everything you know I definitely don't do this every day y'all but you gotta have like a five or a 10 minute beauty routine that you can do and anyone can do that and anyone can have that time to themselves. You know what I mean? When your kids are super little. You know, in the beginning it's kind of hard. I remember like when I would be getting ready, Olivia would be like in a little, um, this little rocker thing or she'd be like in her playing or something. If Brad's home, she'll go play with him. But it's like, you just have to have time. You, you have to make time to um, for yourself. And like I said, if you're in that whole rush in the morning, take 10 minutes for yourself. You can totally, totally do it. This do you powder is really good. But friendships I think are so important. And for me, like I know a lot of people. I have a lot of like acquaintances or friends like that. But my circle is super, super small. And it's a lot of people that I've known my whole life. My friend that I went out with yesterday, I've known her since we were like three and five years old, you know? And it's like, we've just always kind of had that kind of like family dynamic, but a friend. And I think that's important, you know? I have a, a lot of friends like that, a lot of people that I've known for years, but then some really great friendships just kind of happen overnight. Or, you know, you may reconnect with someone or you may you know, meet someone super randomly, a mom at a park or something, and or someone in the neighborhood. And that's like super great too. Ooh, mm, no, that's too much. This is what can happen with this stuff. It can look very like opal-y. It's very brightening and pretty. See how pretty? 
but if you pile on too much, it looks very like opaly. I'm gonna put on some more like different stuff so it'll kind of blend it. But um, but yeah, take time for your friends. I think that's just the best thing and it like kind of recharges your batteries. I definitely don't have time to do that every single week. I wish I did, you know? Can't go out or I, you know, I don't like to like go out and rip it to like 3 a.m. or anything like that. I try to get home and, you know, get my kid to bed. But like, it's just so good to even just go out to lunch and like have some adult conversation with a girlfriend, have them over to your house. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do and it's so good for your mood. And I feel like it makes you like a happier parent. I just think it's the best thing that you can do for yourself, for your family. And also, if you're in a relationship, you know, your husband, your significant other, whatever, they'll be happier too if you know, they've got to have their own thing. They've got to do their own thing. You know, you cannot be together all the time. You have to have a little bit of space. Like you have to have time to spend with your friends and for them to do the same thing as well. And I think that, you know, if you don't do that and you don't kind of like support your partner doing the same thing, you'll lose so much in your relationship. Um, it just makes things more exciting too. I don't know, I just think that like for Brad, to do things with his friends and to have things that he enjoys. And he supports me in the same way. You know, you can't expect to be supported in ways that you want to be supported if you if you're not if you don't do the same thing. Do you know what I mean? Did this just break? It totally just broke. Oh, this just broke. That's weird. I was just seeing how nicely these were made compared. Okay, whatever. Who well, it's still it's still working, we're good. And as you get older, I feel like you learn who your friends are. Like, you learn so much more about yourself. And I feel like so many, like I said, of my friends are people that I've known. People that I've known a lot in my life. I have another friend that's like a lifelong friend. And we may not see each other all the time. We don't live super close. But I know that we're always, like, there for each other. When we talk, it's like, you know, no time has passed. And then there are people that I see much more often that I, you know, haven't really had a relationship with long at all. And what's funny is with YouTube and stuff... I feel like I've met so many cool people on there, on here too because you just naturally, I think, click with and make friendships with people that are kind of like doing the same thing that you're doing or whatever. And there's people that I met years and years ago, some that I still have never met in person, many, most of them I have. Just wonderful people, you know? And like some of the coolest people and people that like I consider to be really good friends. Jen and I were saying we're gonna do a girl, we're gonna try to do a girl's trip every year. And I just think that's important, you know? It's fun to have that to look forward to. And it's like, we're even like, okay, well maybe we should plan one sooner, you know? Um, since we kind of had like junky weather on ours, but it was still super fun. Friendships might like ebb and flow, like especially a, friend a friendship that you've had, you know, lifelong friendship. Like you may not talk for a while or things might like, you know, you may be in different places at certain points in your life. But um, we've always been pretty close. This is literally about to like fall out. This is so weird. I've never had one do this before. Has yours ever done this? Anyways, this is so annoying. I wonder if I could like glue it back because I've still got a lot of pencil left. And especially too, as a mom, I feel like you do value your time so much that you want to spend time with people that that you care about, you know, and that and spend time on the friendships that matter. But you know, like when you're in college, I feel like you end up creating a lot of friendships that, you know, some last, some don't. But I had some real weird doozies in college. And I think it teaches you like what to look for, what kind of like friendships to avoid. And when you get older, I feel like you just don't have time for things, you know, red flags that you recognize or, you know, you kind of get a little smarter about, you know, well, this person may just be using me or this may be, you know, this is not in my best interest. It's so like a friendship red flag. I remember when I was in college, and this is so weird, like I don't like talking about a lot of things, like, like this especially, because like I don't want people to ever think I'm talking about them or think who, hopefully they don't watch my videos, but um, I won't name any names or anything. But I think it's kind of an interesting story and it is definitely a red flag because it ended really weird. Brad and I still kind of like laugh about this because we're like, holy goodness, because Brad and I, were dating at this time. So it was someone that like, obviously they were in a lot of my classes, whatever, and we just kind of connected. I thought, you know, this person was pretty cool. And literally within like just a couple months, this person asked me to be um, a part of their special day. 
And, oh my gosh, like, I feel like I'm just, I don't want to, like, call, I'm not gonna, I don't want anybody to think I'm talking about. And I was like, oh, yeah, great, okay, I'm not kidding, like, you can make the fastest friendships, right, that are the most meaningful, that are the most amazing, right? But this was just, like, a couple of months, like, whatever, but so, okay, kind of a red flag, kind of not, because it can kind of be okay. But I was super excited. At the time, I was like, no, this is great, you know? And um, what I realized was that everyone else in the wedding were people that this person had just met. Do you know what I mean? And it wasn't like, okay, we live in a college town or anything. Like, I still lived in my hometown and went to this college. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was close by. Um, she actually, it was like in the town where she grew up. So that was even stranger. It wasn't like she had moved. It was like she had been there her whole life and didn't really have people around her that were going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I'd say that's kind of a red flag too. Like there are people that just don't have any friends. I don't have many friends, but the ones that I have, I feel are really like a couple of them have been there my entire life. But that always was, it was just a little strange, you know, and things kind of, I don't want to say she was a little bossy because I can be a little bossy and, you know, like opinionated, but it was just very odd. Like every time we would do anything, it was always like Brad and I would go to them. I remember one time we were gonna do something a little closer to us and she acted like it was like just so far to drive, but then like didn't care at all, like asking us to come to her. And we always would, you know? And see now I think I would be a little smarter. I don't, I've learned to say no a lot more and I definitely probably would not be down for this. But um, there was this, it was so funny. I think what kind of like broke the relationship, so we were kind of in the midst of everything, like you know, we were like bridesmaid dress shopping and everything was like going down, like I was going to like her family relative's birthdays, which was really weird, like I don't even know, I don't know what I was doing. And I remember thinking, oh it's weird that she doesn't have any other friends, why is that? And I, this has been so long, I don't really remember exactly, but I remember there was this club that we would, it was basically like, it was in that college town, which is like a town where like a lot of my family's grown up. It's like not like a college town, but it's where the college was or whatever. We lived about like 25 minutes away from it. They lived kind of like closer by, but there was a club called Cowboys. I don't even want to call it a club, but like when I was in high school, like literally underage people could go there on Sundays and it was like the cool thing, right? Cowboys. Oh, well, when you were in college, it was not cool anymore, you know? And she was like, let's go to Cowboys. I'm not like a clubby person. I'm certainly not gonna like, I don't wanna do that. And I remember one time I was like, yeah, I don't know. I really don't wanna do that. You know, I think Brad and I were just like, yeah, we're not really into that. You know, I don't know. I don't really love Cowboys. And okay, whatever. Like I said, like I had made so many efforts. I did like everything. Like I went to like friggin', like I said, I don't even remember what family member. I think it was like her mom's birthday. Like I would go and do all these things. Like none of her other friends were there. It was just odd, you know, like I was doing all these things for her. And we were planning, you know, planning a night. I was like, let's just, let's go do something fun. Like we can go to the city, we can go somewhere fun. And we were gonna like go like as couples, you know? And I think there was gonna be like another couple there. I don't know. But I think I did somewhere like anywhere but Mexican. At the time, like Brad didn't really love Mexican food. So we were just like, yeah, let's go anywhere. Oh my gosh, there's so many cool places to go in Atlanta. There were so many fun things we could have done. And so then she tells me, she's like, well, let's go eat at this like Mexican restaurant. Let's go eat at like Papacitos, which was fine, which I liked, whatever. But it's like, I mean, okay. Like, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's not my favorite. So whatever. So okay, she picks a Mexican restaurant and every time we would get together, that's all we would ever eat. So finally I was like, let's just go somewhere besides Mexican because Brad doesn't really love it. Like, let's do something different. And then she was like, and then we can go to Cowboys. And I'm like, oh my God. So we said, okay, let's go. We'll go to Papacitos, which we had already gone to like a million other freaking times. And I was like, yeah, we don't really want to go. To, like, I don't know. Like we probably will skip Cowboys. Like we're not really into that. And I think it kind of pissed her off. And then um, I got this really angry email from her that was like very abrasive that Brad and I like were like, what the hell is this? And she was like, you know, you never want to go do anything like you never do anything I mean, and I'm thinking holy crap it was literally like so wrathy and ragey it was so bizarre and I look back and I'm like oh my gosh like that was such like a high school thing it was so weird it was literally the weirdest thing like to this day when I think of like I've had friendships like begin and end and stuff that was literally like the weirdest and I'm like Brad how should I respond to this like what even is this I just wrote back and told her how I felt that like I felt like I was doing like everything and doing it but you know she never listened to anything I want to do and she was like fine you're not in my wedding like bye and I don't even think the other girl was either which I don't know and I don't know I feel bad because I feel like you know we're not none of us are perfect I don't know I just I feel kind of like if, if you're doing too much or you feel kind of like no one's kind of meeting you halfway or something makes you feel a little icky 
or someone doesn't like respect like what you want to do if someone has like no friends that like will still talk to them. I mean that's weird you know I mean that that is kind of a red flag I feel like I took that darker color and just like went around isn't that pretty I really like this palette a lot you guys and then you can even if you want to get fancy you can take one of these middle colors like or like a, you can take like maybe this color this gold color and put it kind of in the middle for like a real bronzy pretty look it's not fun so yeah those are some red flags I look I think back and I'm like I can't even believe that I put up with that like we, we would always just do things for them or do what they wanted to do and it was like then when she got mad at me it was because literally I didn't want to do one thing that she wanted to do and I'm like this is the problem you know those are some red flags I don't know here's the other thing too I shouldn't have just rolled over and said sure I'll be in your wedding I don't know you let me do this and it's so hard especially because when you get a little older you don't have to deal with that so much but when you're younger and it's like everybody's getting married and you know people are asking you to be in their weddings of course hopefully it's people that you know and people that you know and I knew her and stuff and I was happy to do it but that is difficult like when people ask you to be a part of something and you're kind of like okay like and you don't really feel super comfortable doing it but you do it anyways I guess that is just maybe you know sometimes it's just better to say no and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but it taught me such a big lesson like red flags look for in friendships don't be friends with everyone that wants to be friends with you and I guess that's the moral that is look for the red flags don't be friends with everyone that just wants to be friends with you it was like I felt like I was kind of collected by this person <laughs> you know what I mean and it was you know and then you know there are friends that I've met in college that loved so much you know and, and things just got kind of like completely different whenever she would have a new relationship and there's always those friends that you know when they have a relationship or a boyfriend they don't talk to you as much or whatever and that's okay you know and what got really weird was when I had a baby it was like anytime a big life thing would happen for me I feel like this person would kind of pull away which was weird because nobody else did that you know what I mean and it was hard and I feel like you know I tried to reconnect a couple times and but then also when things would change for me, you know, like when I would, um, I'm gonna add just a little more of this, I'm gonna do this color. Like when I had, I feel like I'm overdoing it. See, I'm talking and I'm gonna end up overdoing this. Like when I was pregnant, like this person was literally like the first person I told besides Brad. You know, it was like I shared really big milestones with this person before any anyone else, you know, and like just really valued our friendship so much and I got I just felt like sometimes like I didn't risk get it reciprocated and that's okay because I get people go through things but then it was like at what point do you just keep pushing someone or keep trying to be someone's friend that you really care about you know and then when you have a child and someone like isn't there for your child or just I, I don't want to say doesn't care but literally just doesn't reach out or doesn't that's when it's that's that really kind of like you know those things really kind of hurt and you know I made an effort and tried later you know to to get this person like back in my life like around the time Olivia was like six months old I reached out and I was like you know I was like I really miss you I'm not really sure what happened I would you know love to catch up and blah 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 and you know I really tried to get this person back in my life because I cared about her so much even though I was hurt that like you know, I just felt like she wasn't there for me, but, but you know, that didn't stick. And when that didn't stick, I'm like, I can't do anything else. And sometimes you do have to kind of let go of things that aren't good for you. And that was like so many years ago. And you know, some people might, that don't really know you or that think that they know you or that have issues within themselves, they might pull away from you when you have success, you know? People that are, that claim to be the least materialistic will judge you based on where you live, what you have, what you're doing. Whereas, you know, you may not have changed at all and they just make assumptions, you know? And it's like, I feel like a lot of that is within other people sometimes. They pull away from you or they think, oh, well, she's this or she's that. And it's like, no, like nobody else thinks that, you know, like nobody else sees that. And people that truly care about you won't do that anyway. At the same time, just like I said, you know, that girl got a little just, oh, like kind of scooped me up like, oh, let's be friends. I don't want to do that to anyone either. I really kind of take friendships slow. I keep my eyes open. I don't call people out really on things. I just won't. You know, you just may not hear from me or whatever. You know, like, if you want to pursue a friendship, pursue it. Like, be supportive of people or whatever. But you don't have to be great friends with everyone because I definitely see things. Like, I see where, you know, you might reconnect with someone or you meet someone through someone else or see someone that you may not have, you know, had contact with in a while. 
And you don't need to just jump into that. Do you know what I mean? You kind of need to like feel things out, see who people are, because I'm not trying to say everyone is bad or anything, but you definitely don't want to put yourself in a position where you have any of these weird things. And as a mom, as a person, not even as a mom, you don't want to subject yourself to people that aren't there for you or that aren't, you know, in your corner. And it is hard to find good friends. I just really am thankful for mine. And like my eyes are so open, like I kind of see what goes on, like I've done this long enough, like I know, like there's, I know what people say, I know what people have said about me over the years. People that I went to high school with, probably, I remember like years ago, like I know when people saw what I was doing on YouTube, they were like, what? Like, what are you doing? Like, literally. It's kind of interesting Then people kind of are all like, oh wait, but social media is cool. So, I don't know, I just feel like I'm very aware, like my eyes are open, I'm always gonna be nice to these people, I'm never gonna like tell anyone, but you know, I'm never gonna like call anybody out or do anything because it's not worth it. Pick and choose your battles, like pick and choose your friends wisely. And just at the end of the day, do you, like do what you wanna do. I'm like, my gosh, I'm so thankful that I've done this. I'm so thankful that I've gotten to connect with all of you guys. And I feel that like you guys are friends as well. And that's what I'm saying, like there's so many different types of friendships, there's so many different types of relationships that you can have with people and you know, things that, that make you feel good. And you know, don't ever give your time to someone or to you know a situation that you don't feel good about because our time is valuable as mothers as people as you know as people with work and jobs and you know lives it's like even just like with social media and stuff like i constantly look and i try to go through and you know just follow people that make me feel good i had not gone through and looked at everyone in a long time you know, and I looked, I looked through my list of people that I followed and I'm like, do I talk to this person? Does this person make me feel good when I see their stuff? Like, does this person support me? Like, at the same time, give people a chance, but keep your eyes open, you know what I mean? But don't feel bad about saying no. Like, just, I mean, my gosh, you know? I'm sure you guys have like crazy friend stories. And like, I feel like when I talk on this, like I cannot even get detailed. I can't say everything I want to say because there's so many funny things. Oh my gosh, there's so many funny stories. But like, you just kind of have to know who's in your corner. Plan those girls' nights, like do things, like the, connect with women, like even if it's like, like meet women through like a mom group or something, people that you can connect with. I just think that's so important and we all need that. We all need that interaction and just, it's so good for your soul. And I feel like that's kind of why it's fresh on my mind is my friend and I were talking about that, we're like, this is like therapy. Like I feel like we had a therapy session. Like just, like just talking to a friend, you know, talking and connecting. I really do try to do it as often as I can. You know what? If they're going to be a good friend, they need to understand if you don't want to, you know? Like maybe me and that girl could have been friends if I was like, "You know what? I'm a great friend, but I don't know if I'm going to um, you know, I don't really know about what's going on during that time or are you, you know, do you want me to I'll be there and I'll help you. I'd be honored to come, but I don't think I could, you know, I don't know if I could be in the wedding. Like, I don't know if I would feel good about being, but I don't know how you would even turn that down. Like, how would you even turn that down? Thank God. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm old as shit and nobody's getting married. And don't be used by people. Like business, you know, social media, anything. Like I get you have to network. You kind of do things for other people to help them get started. I cannot tell you how many friends I've supported and how many like companies that I feel so good about. People that when they were just starting out, I was like, sure, you know, or friends that I kind of knew from years ago that I'm like, yeah, let me help you out. But I can't tell you, let me just preface this by saying, I don't want anybody to see this and think I'm talking about them because like anybody that I've accepted anything you've sent to me, anybody that I've talked to, you know, that's great. I support what you do. But like, it's hard for me. Like I can't talk about everybody's things all the time just because we went to school together or because I knew you 20 years ago or do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's tough because like I still get it, but it really happened a long time ago when people really realized, you know, that, oh, she has a YouTube following or she's doing pretty good with that or whatever. I would hear from people that were so obscure that I hadn't talked to since high school that I wasn't even friends with in high school that didn't even talk to me in high school that weren't particularly very nice and wanted me to help them with X, Y, or Z or just talk about something that they were doing. And while I'm like, oh, that's, I get, like, I want to be supportive. It's like, you don't have to do that all the time. You don't have to be that much of a yes person where you just say yes to everybody. And I feel like that was my biggest lesson I learned when I started YouTube was saying no to companies, um, saying no to things. Like I said, being a mom, keeping my sanity, saying no to 
these opportunities that would like take me away for a while that I don't want to do that. I don't need to do that, you know? I just, it's just a lot of things that I've learned to say no to that have kept my sanity. And honestly, friendships included, like I need to do a YouTube story where I can talk about like business things, not like, not naming names, but just like funny things that have happened over the years that kind of have like, I think it's kind of like a part of like my YouTube story, why I do certain things, why I don't do certain things. I think I still need to do that. I think that would be really interesting. I don't, sometimes I think when I do it, uh, is it too like, oh me, let me talk about all this stuff. Like I feel a little uncomfortable because I feel like it's a little like me, 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 like when I talk about it and it just is kind of like, uh, is that kind of cringy? Should I talk about it? I don't know. But I guess it's like my YouTube story. I think that's, I, I think that's interesting. I've talked about doing this for so long and I just never have but I think it would be interesting. I feel like talking about all these relationship things and all these friendship things, it's kind of similar to things in business and weird situations and things that I've said no to and things that I still say no to and things that I, I don't know. So I might talk about that. Maybe my message here is like the art of saying no. Maybe I should do a video on that, okay? Hope that you feel a little inspired to, I don't wanna say narrow your circle. If you need to, do it. If you don't, don't. But you know what I'm saying. Feel good about exactly what you wanna do. Let your radar go off. I don't have any friendships that have ended anytime recently, but like, you know, years and years ago, certain ones that ended, like, even look back at the really special ones that you put a lot into, like one that ended that absolutely broke my heart. I couldn't do anything about it, you know, like, some people just change and you just have to look and say, I did everything I could, I love that person, we had great times, but sometimes, you know, things just change. But you have to also know that you're in control of saying no to things that you wanna say no to. And as a mom, like I, I keep saying as a mom, but literally like as a mom, as a person, someone, it's so worth your sanity just being friends with those people that matter, people that you don't have to have any drama with, people that you do. And that has been so nice over the last several years. And you know, there's people that you have fun with every now and then, but your radar's up. Do you know what I mean? You've seen little things, but you still keep your distance. You know, maybe not, I, I don't believe in just like, oh, let me just cut this person out, but give people a chance but know when to kind of say no and keep your distance. But anyways, you guys, I hope that maybe you got something out of this. Even if it was just, you know, watching me do my makeup and you got some ideas there, I will link to everything that I used below. I just love these whole like makeup and chit chat things that we do. And I hope that you were able to maybe relate to a little bit of this. Hopefully I'm not the only one with like nutso like friend stories and I could not even get into it like I wanted to because like I said like I just don't want to share too much or you know get too weird or like messy about stories. I just I'm so careful about saying stuff on here because I know a lot of people watch but really value them really work on your friendships and um, I think it's something that I could definitely do better that we could all kind of do but if you're a mom. Girl, have those girls nights. Get out, have some fun, and you know, reclaim your sanity every once in a while. Anyways, you guys, I love you so much. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye, you guys.